Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Casual Gamers Online. Ashley here, and today this video is about the giveaway and the complete guide of Wow Hunter. Okay, guys, I know the update has been for like almost two weeks, and then almost half month has gone through. I'm not sure you guys enjoy the entire activities. Okay, so far, I believe that this year's second anniversary event is even better than the last year. So I believe that next one will be doing better and better. And today, stay tuned to this video because in the mid of the video, I'm gonna give a Way 10 codes sponsored by Nexon okay so Nexon USA actually sponsored me 10 codes and I'll be giving it away okay and how to get these 10 codes for free okay uh, later watch the entire video at the mid or the end of the video I'm going to tell you how to do it in order to be qualified for the lucky draw okay so what is uh, the wow hunter okay during this second anniversary I'm going to run through a few things there's a lot of events and whatnot they actually the major focus will be the events and getting the coins to the coin store okay a different level of coin store and also the major focus is because there's two new classes that is launched okay the mechanic and the wild hunter okay I covered the mechanic video the last time so practically I'm going to focus on wild hunter this time how to catch the jaguar and whatnot so on and so forth okay so for the second anniversary event guys as you can see click on this small little icon here okay and you can go for that and every day by doing auto battle farming on more uh, any level or anywhere, be it snake area, rough wilderness, on your out account, main account, or main character, or alternate character, okay, just you can actually claim about 800 coins if you are on the third level of the event. So you go to this event, you can see, okay, here is the lobby and then the rooftop. Okay, you can see confirm membership here, they have like classic, elite, premium, and prestige. So at different level, when you raise up the, uh, you collect the number of coins, right? From all the events itself and the auto battle, from classic, you can go up to elite, premium, and prestige. Okay, that is the video that I covered two weeks ago. So guys, make sure you have the, uh, watch the previous video on how to, uh, get the coins for the event. So I'm actually about maybe nine thousand coins away, about nine thousand coins again before I go to prestige. Okay, why is that important? Because the goodies are at the prestige. You enter the lobby. Okay, you can go to the jewelry shop. Okay, and then you check out the prestige. Prestige will give you the legendary rank up stone, something that I want. So guys, leave in the comments below what are the items that you gotta exchange when you get to prestige level okay for me i'm looking at the armor rank up soon and the weapon rank up soon okay there are other things that you can get up on pre premium okay you can get the uh fire stream stone from uh sickness empress and whatnot okay there's a limit of five per account so i covered that on the previous video so congratulations for those who are looking for rank up stone definitely need to do this event and at the same time okay now on the mid range they actually induce this event the one card event is over and for this event, right, you can get five tickets a day plus two million meso to to roll seven times in total to get the uh, <clears throat> Hotel Maple M Wonder Wheel. So you can see this Hotel Maple M Wonder Wheel. Okay, every time you roll, you actually get one spot taken. And when you have like three con uh, three continuously and the fourth one, you will land on the middle and collect the anniversary cake. Okay, and it, that will consider as one round and you can collect another tree here. Okay, it's very important to complete this entire thing here. Okay, why? Because you're going to get a lot of coins here. You can see these are all 50 coins given away, 70 coins in the center. So make sure you guys do your auto battle on your main account every day uh, in the midst of raising level. This is a very simple, easy event as you can see. So guys, remember do your wonder wheel every day and also the check-in, okay? Remember, once you start 7 days, you make sure you must check in 7 days continuously. Why? When you check in all the way on the 6th day, right? They actually give you 3,500 crystals, uh, 3,500 secondary coins. So you can see this is awesome. Okay, next one is giving away a lot of coins during different time of period. Uh, when you lock in, they give you 1,000 coins and 2,000 coins respectively. And then now there's 3,500 coins from here. And at the same time, the last day when locking, you can get a mythic armor box. Okay, no doubt it's a training gear, but it's good for me because I'm doing my exaltation. I'm not doing my exaltation. I'm doing my ancient inheritance and my uh, necro crafting. And every time I need a mythic gear in order to bring that down. Okay, to craft the alchemy scroll. I'm not sure whether the alchemy scroll can use an E, but if not, uh, you can actually raise uh, refine to the next level, and you can actually sell it for uh, exaltation on the trade shop so 
the main focus for me i'll be more focused on this 3500 coins so guys make sure you lock in for six days okay that said this is the entire event okay and this time when they launch this event is awesome why because mechanic and wild hunter has a separate growth a reward okay it's very different from the last time last time they make it to one so they they ever launched next one ever launched three characters together three classes together and you share one growth tree but for now right okay two different character two different classes will have two different growth tree all the way up to level one two five okay so guys make sure you do your uh leveling even uh, better is because this time they give away unique item unique weapon and unique armor that makes you uh, quite tankable at uh, SF80, so which is uh, which is make it very applicable to get this reward at 125. So there's almost 19 days to go, so no worries. You got ample time to get your character to 125 level 125 to get to read all the rewards and give it to your main character or your out character that you decided to use. So these are the entire event covered. So today I'm going to talk about Wild Hunter. Wait, Wild Hunter is archer class. And the weapon it used is actually a crossbow, same as Marksman, another archer class. So for this Wild Hunter itself, these are all the event items, okay, they give you the scroll up and everything. Okay, you will have three unique equipment and then all are epic and including a unique weapon. This is from the event. So for this Wild Hunter itself, by doing all this and then up the SF, you can get about SF 39 to 40, which is super awesome because you can start doing Star Force farming at SF40 but if not you can just throw this wild hunter to sneak area to earn mass so at the same time to clear the rewards for the uh, coins and whatnot okay for wild hunter what is special about it is because of the jaguar okay it doesn't write mercedes it doesn't write me bmw it basically write the jaguar the brand <laughs> so it's going to uh, hunt the wild hunter jaguar i'm going to cover three things about the wild hunter the first thing okay we got to talk about how to hunt a jaguar how do you catch capture a jaguar okay that's very important as you can see i'm having a special jaguar here which is snow white and then after that we're going to talk about our uh, what skills to level up when you reach level 100 okay that's very important when you reach level 100 what are the skills that you want to level up and thirdly which is the most important of all is the skill setting for farming the skill setting for bossing and the skill setting for bossing we split into two which is the skill setting the preset skill that you'll use for your multi-target bosses and the single target bosses so as you guys can see today three things that we're going to cover for wild hunter the first one is how to capture a jaguar how to level what skills to level when you reach level 100 okay and then lastly will be the skill setting for bossing both single target target and multi-target and also the farming so here let's not wait and then let's go to this uh area okay for wild hunters very simple i actually have a skill set that I equipped for capture captured okay so you're gonna use the skill set this skill set okay captured this jaguar ride jaguar jaguar rider jaguar summon okay uh going back to the secret uh resistant headquarter the capture net okay the net is at level you need to equip these skills in order to capture okay the net the capture net is at level one skill slot okay the first job so this is to allow you to capture jaguar you make sure the jaguar must reach hp 50 percent and lower okay and because if you reach 100 level and you start going and capture the jaguar right you overkill so i equip it with a level 30 triple shot okay this triple shot will slowly reduce the jaguar to below 50. if you use a wild arrow blast okay the damage will be too high and then you can accidentally kill the jaguar in a catch okay i actually kill a special jaguar it says and you can actually manage your jaguar here okay the types of jaguar you can capture the three the four uh special one are jara snow white onyx and armor crimson okay armor crimson cannot be captured but the rest of the eight jaguars can be captured in the ha uh, jaguar habitat so how do we go there very simple here firstly let's go to use uh go use this skill which will take you to the secret assembly okay this will teleport you to the secret assembly and when you reach the secret assembly you can see the jaguar habitat which is the black jack black jack is sleeping here click on this black jack here you can go to the jaguar habitat the moment you go there you can see there's a lot of jaguar at these places so you can see these are all the jaguars that you can capture okay i'm going to like maybe hit one of them okay you see this is a single press okay now almost 50 percent i'm going to capture you see you captured the jaguar simple as that so capturing the same jaguar will not duplicate jaguar okay the jaguar is the same and then having captured jaguar you just go to the manage on your skill here go to the skill manage jaguar you can see these are the jaguars you can equip 
Okay, if you equip a purple jaguar or the normal normal jaguar got about five types. Okay, purple, yellow, grey, red, and blue. So purple, yellow, grey, red, and blue give you physical attack increase of five percent. But the special jaguar jara snow uh, white onyx and then cream armor crimson right is different from PC. PC give you crit rate buff, crit, uh, give you a uh, buff duration of ten percent increase. But then for this uh, mobile version of Maple Story M. Maple Story M or Maple Story Mobile, okay. The Jaguar itself, right, will give you five. The special Jaguar, the four jet special Jaguar, will give you five percent physical damage increase. So that's the thing. That's the physical damage increase. So I'm going to equip a normal purple Jaguar. Okay, we're going to unsummon this. Going to unsummon, unsummon the Jaguar, and then uh, I'm going to equip here a purple Jaguar. So the purple jaguar, if you summon, you can see this is the purple jaguar that I have. Okay, and you can see a purple jaguar give you physical attack increase of 5%. And of course, you summon jaguar, right? You give you physical attack increase 15% and physical damage increase 15%. So this is the physical uh, jaguar. So that this is the jaguar that you, you summon. So I'm going to summon my... Let me unsummon, okay? By clicking the skill one more time, there's two skills, okay? The right side will be uh, Jaguar Rider, the left side will be Summon Jaguar. So let's go to the skill here again, and let's go down to the Snow White. Okay, I'm going to equip Snow White. This is a special one, awesome. Really love it, okay? So you summon the Snow White. Let's take a look. Okay, you look at here. This is the physical attack increased by 15%, physical attack uh, damage increased by 15%. This is Summon Jaguar. And then this is the Snow White special effect. So Snow White will give you physical damage increase by 5%. That's a lot. So guys, you have to capture the Snow White and the uh, four, the three different Jaguar. Okay, I'm not sure whether the last Jaguar, where will it be? Maybe it will be event or whatnot. But precisely from here, these are the three special Jaguars you can capture here. I'm going to show you guys the difference of the Jaguar. Okay, you look at the normal Jaguar, right? The eyes does not have any shining one. So you look at the Gyra. It's a black color Jaguar with the shining eye. And of course, Snow White is super different. You can see the difference. And then uh, this Onyx Jaguar has a eye accessory on it. And the eyes are all blinking. All the special Jaguar. And then the Armor Crimson Jaguar will have the eye accessory without blinking eyes. But you can see the difference there. Okay, and they are the tattoo on the body. Okay, so Onyx one will be easier. Jag uh, the Jaira one is here. Okay, I tried different ways like killing all the... Jaguar for it to respawn, okay, and then the fastest way, okay, will be what entering and re entering. Entering, okay, you can go out here, you can see this brown, brown, the top here, you can see brown, brown Jaguar, black, uh, gray Jaguar, and then the red Jaguar. So I'm going to go in here, going to click on Jack, black Jack again, then going to go in again. You can see on top already change now become a uh, red, blue and then uh, brown and then followed by the grey jaguar so this four jaguar is different so you keep on going in and going out let me unsummon this jaguar first in and out then just to see whether there's any uh, special jaguar so if you don't have it just go in and out again keep on doing this i do about like maybe 30 to 40 times before i get a special jaguar with gyra and then i accidentally kill it because i equip with a higher attack skill so for catching jaguar make sure you have this setup uh like mine Okay, you can ignore the Summon Jaguar or the Jaguar Rider. So you just keep on going in and out to make sure that you can see the different Jaguar. And then I don't think I can actually go in and out and then see a special Jaguar for you here. Okay, so remember stay calm, bring the damage, okay, bring the hit point down to below 50% using a low attack skill and then use a net to kill it. So triple shot is a better one for me. So you guys can set up exactly the same for this entire Wild Hunter capturing. Okay, this is the last time I'm going to enter. Okay, nope. I don't see any special Jaguar. Nothing at all. So that's it. It's possible to capture this. Okay, guys. A lot of information are from Esther. So I really thank her for like sharing the idea of a Wild Hunter. She's she, Her IGN is Balloon in the Maple Story Mobile on Asia 2 Scanner. So she's a pro uh, Wild Hunter player. She's been getting ready for Wild Hunter for almost 6 months. And then finally, Wild Hunter is out. So she's now playing Wild Hunter Focus. So that's it. Okay, let's hop on to the second one, the skill. The skill to level when you're level 100, okay? Always go for the passive first, okay? The passive, you need to level up every passive here, okay? Before doing bosses, you don't do the passive for bosses first. You can do the passive for hunting, okay? Like this, uh, 
extended magazine okay crossbow expert okay uh this will increase your defense and then the final attack chance will be the last one and then natural abs increase of 10 percent so i'll go on and increase all the passive here because passive will affect all the skills that you have on the uh, wild hunter like what i say every time on maple story mobile when you have a new character other than mechanic the rest of the character always go for passive first then you go for buff okay buff because sharp eyes will increase your physical damage reduction six percent the cd will increase by 20 percent and then the magic damage reduction of six percent so this is awesome because of the cd increase of 20 percent so sharp eyes is a self target or a buff here and then the active skill the major skill that you'll be used for both bossing single and multi-target will be the wild arrow blast so make sure you increase this to level 10 and then after this level 10 then maybe you can decide if you're doing a lot of single target focus you can go for jaguar soul okay and then or maybe the drill savo okay drill savo will be used in both single and multi-target so for me itself right i'm going to do this on wild, wild arrow blast then followed by drill savo and then jaguar soul okay that's what i'm going to do so for this case this is what you're supposed to level up for your skills in level 100 and above so for that skill set i'm going to talk about uh, skill preset okay there's all together three skill presets okay the one that you go for farming the one that you go for multi-target bossing and the single target bossing how do i set up all within a page because for chaos horn tail you got the two horny heads first before the five other uh before the three other horny heads that means the, the horn, horn tail itself so you got to clear that okay then for now i'm going to take a break before i go into the preset okay so guys uh you have been watching until now okay just make sure you leave in the comments below what are the items that you're going to change for your second anniversaries and then what what do you play whether you do you play wild hunter or mechanic do we switch your main to wild hunter or mechanic and why so leave in the comments below on this coming saturday which is tomorrow tomorrow i'm going to uh be on live at 9 30 pm okay we're going to do the membership lucky draw at the same time we're going to do the second anniversary lucky draw and we're going to draw on the comments that we have on this video so comment now make sure you like share and comment on this video and i'm going to do the comment picker okay random picker on tomorrow uh live on maple story mobile and anyone who is lucky enough will walk away with the code and get free crystals from nexon usa so for that i'm giving 10 codes away so there will be 10 person who's going to win the lucky draw so make sure do that and tomorrow go on live and be on the live and see whether you are the lucky winner we're going to start the our uh, entire life uh maple story mobile tomorrow by bossing first about take it takes about 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes then after 15 to 20 minutes we'll do the 10 lucky draw for the uh lucky winners today on this video so guys make sure you do that okay and now let's hit on to the preset skills okay let's talk about the uh farming first okay the farming skill farming skill right okay uh let me see Okay, the farming skill you do not need this farming skill you need the uh, preset for here okay so let's go to the skill preset first okay let, let me show you guys the skill preset first before i tell you all about how i arrange my skill for bossing and whatnot okay i've tried this is not my main character wild hunter i have an account that i played level 144 i think it's i'm gonna try to level it I, uh, I didn't relevate it so much but I bring it for bossing I find that the bossing has the best setup using this method okay the first one let's see okay we got to use these skills uh, setup because why one thing good about wow hunter is when you're using your basic uh, wow wow arrow blast right the basic skill at level 100 which is this skill okay this is your main character when you're using these skills right you can use the jaguar summon skill for single target which is awesome so this preset will be for single target now this whole entire preset you need to use it for your single target and also a multi-target so what so this first skill will be the swipe okay these are because wild hunter got a lot of debuff skills which is awesome and also a lot of stack okay you can stack three times and increase your damage skill skill damage okay which is awesome so you need to stack and increase more damage from wild hunter so swipe is the first one this is about jaguar skill a jaguar skill that means you cannot ride the jaguar the jaguar can be summoned out and then attack separately so don't ride the jaguar so swipe is activated when you don't ride the jaguar and then followed by the uh, let me see 
The other skill will be Wow Leo. Wow Leo also stacks, okay, provokes nearby enemy temporarily decrease the crit resistance. So it actually decreased the crit resistance from the bosses and target by 20%. So this is awesome. So this will increase the crit resistance because the future content, not the future content, actually it's currently the new 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 bosses introduced in Maple Story Mobile uh, on the second anniversary, the Crimson Queen, all this, they have crit resistance. So even your crit rate hits 90%, you need to have crit resistance uh, decrease in order to hit like almost every crit rate you have. Okay, if you have 90%, it's not good enough because you never know the crit resistance boss will actually lower it down. You still miss some of the crit rate uh, happening for that for that side. So, while the all is one, swipe is second, and the last one will be the dash and slash. Okay, dash and slash will give another bite activation of 80% and also stack uh, the attack itself. Okay, physical attack, target count 5, hit count 1. So, this will be for single target lineup. Okay, while the all, okay, swipe and follow by dash and slash. And the second one will be for single target also. Why? Because this is a Jaguar skill. Sonic Raw, a Jaguar skill. So while you're not riding the Jaguar itself, the Jaguar skill will be here. Okay, Sonic Raw, 61% skill damage, 1% skill damage increase per level. So depending on the level you have, and this is the Sonic Raw and the Jaguar Soul. Jaguar Soul will actually have another bite activation chance of 100%. So this is awesome, but the CD itself has a 30%. And then the buff rate duration, the buff duration is 6 seconds and then it increase when your level increase. So if level 10 right, you may you might have actually a 15 per, uh, fifteen seconds of like uh, debuff on the boss. So this is very good debuff skill at the same time a damage skill also because it's at 500 over percent. So at level 10, you should reach about 600 over percent. So this is an awesome skill to have for Java skill. So your preset 2 will be this and this, okay, which is the... Uh, Sonic Raw and the Jaguar Soul and then the third one will be used for both single target and multi target okay single target this will be the hunting assistant unit okay which has a 30 second CD together with the drill sabo which has a 30 second CD so this is awesome and both of them will just stick there and then start attacking this is additional damage and it's actually not bad because the additional damage is 157% very good for better than uh, cost here okay so for here you can see it's like 200.8 percent for level one savo so this is insane so these two skills are packed together and the last one will be wow arrow blast i put it here because i don't want to switch the multi-target and the single target on different skill page because you have three skill page one two and three so having one for farming the other one for bossing will be good enough and the last one will be for capturing your wow hunter uh jaguar your wow, uh, your wow jaguar so what happens is like having this skill set up all together i can actually have like both multi-target and single target on one page skill so i'm going to show you guys how do i set up so let's go farming okay farming skill will be these three skills okay which is your wow arrow blast and your J uh, jaguar rider you need to ride on your jaguar rider because when you ride on jaguar right okay you have multi-target uh attack but if you dismount your Jaguar, right, you will become a single target attack. So it's very important that uh, if you ride on Jaguar, you'll become a multi-target. Okay, now I'm not riding a Jaguar, right? You can see this is a target count of 1 and max shot count of 150%. It's a single target, just one target by itself because I'm not riding on the Jaguar now, you can see. So, but the moment when I ride on a Jaguar, okay, you can see my skill actually change. Okay, the wild arrow blast becomes a multi-target, target count of 7 and max shot of 150. So your skill damage becomes 121 to 100 uh, and, and buff. So if you get level 10, you'll be higher. So it actually next on buff it after uh, a few days uh, when people realize that the uh, multi-target is super low because it's only 72% and now it's like 100 over percent, which is awesome. So this is the multi-target uh, setup. So we're going to dismount again. Let's check the skill. Okay, on Wild Arrow Blast, you can see the single target 181% at level 7, okay, which is awesome. So this will be a farming. Farming, uh, auto battle, you just have this and that. Nothing on page 2. The salvo and this and this will easily get you to tank on SF80 with the unique gears that is given by the second anniversary, so which is awesome. Now let's look, look at the number 2. Number 2 is the capturing skill that I showed you guys just now. Simple as that. A triple shot from the 30th level skill here, a triple shot, and then level 1 capture skill, 
and also the teleportation secret assembly so while you feel like catching the wild hunt uh, wild jaguar just simply go to the secret assembly and then click on blackjack and go and capture your jaguar so let's talk about the third one okay the third one i separate into two pages okay page one and page two so for page one right i'll have the single target ball set up because a lot of times uh, on chaos ping bing and uh, the empress sickness of uh, von bon Pere, okay uh crimson queen and the new bosses is coming all these are all single target so for single target i put it to page one and then i put multi target to page two so for single target very simple as this you can see i put a wild blast okay the wow the wow arrow blast and then are uh, for the single target right the jaguar because okay let me let me see this is my single target setup guys you see i did not put the summon jaguar is why because very simple when you start to attack right now you start to attack you see the jaguar is already summoned so when using the skill the jaguar will be summoned itself so you don't need another slot for a summon jaguar here okay then the best part is what i'm talking about is okay when you're using a single target attack you can see i'm pressing a single target attack i can actually cast the jaguar skill at the same time you see this the jaguar will be the skill can be used simultaneously together you see so this is awesome when you're doing single target on your main character the jaguar itself you still can continue attack so this is adding additional debuff to the target boss for single target and also increase your skill damage increase increase your skill damage so this is awesome for a setup and then i put salvo and i put salvo and including the uh resistant assembly uh weapon on the top is because before i start attacking the boss the first two skills i'll use will be the salvo and this this skill and followed by ba by basic kill and start to use the jaguar and attack itself okay jaguar can attack so you can see you can do single target and then the multi target salvo will keep on hitting so this is awesome to increase the maximum damage for single target on a single target boss so this is my setup for the single target for multi target let's go here so when i go i change the multi target very simple okay uh that goes for kiosk zakum okay kiosk zakum when you have the eight hands up and also the kiosk horn tail for the last part of the kiosk horn tail i'll use this multi target so for zakum right i'll use this uh multi target skill i'm gonna write on the jaguar itself then i'm gonna use the salvo and everything up and then i'm going to do multi target so that is how the multi target works guys you can see extra cannons coming out from the jaguar itself this will be multi target and from the multi target itself right okay after i down it okay after i down the bosses itself okay after i down the bosses or for kill zakum the eight hands are all down left the single target i'm going to do what i'm going to dismount and then change it to the jaguar so you can see if i today i press the single skill and then i can use i can use the jaguar skill right okay the jaguar will be summoned and for that itself i'll do the single target boss for the kiosk zaku so that's how you do you switch from multi-target and single target using this setup so i hope you guys can like leave a like to this video remember you have to like and then share and then comment on what are the second anniversary second anniversary items that you're going to exchange in the comments below and i'm going to do a lucky draw tomorrow remember you at ut uh, utc plus eight utc plus eight which is singapore time at 9 30 p.m i'm going to do the live uh maple story mobile as usual on every tuesday thursday and saturday okay singapore time and then i'll go to do the lucky draw and use a youtube commenter picker to pick on the comments in this video and 10 lucky winners will walk away so i really want to thank nexon and a happy second anniversary for nexon maple story mobile thank you for sponsoring this video for the 10 codes to give away and you guys remember do that and get the free crystals and hope the green free crystals will help you guys uh advancing in the game and i hope you guys have a blast on this entire second year anniversary okay without the one card the event will be even much more easier to clear okay all you need is the farming of the mobs so guys i hope you guys understand the entire throughout okay for this entire uh video okay and thank you for all the people who actually sponsored okay uh the videos itself okay you guys know who you are the Godzilla army has grown to a strong hundred over members now i i want to shout a big shout out to thank you to all the epic unique legendary and mythic members including my sinsen for cod which is shido for becoming the mythic emblem members in this channel okay you guys 
uh, subscribing to this channel and sponsoring this channel with your monthly subscription will bring this channel super far okay then thank you so much for sponsoring my ice lightning mix too really really appreciate that and then for all those people who remember tomorrow will be chila club okay on saturday there will be chila club okay we will be up for more donations and sponsorship for my ice lightning mix journey i thank you so much for you guys who have always been watching here love you guys and i hope you guys win the lucky draw i'm gonna catch you all tomorrow see you all bye Bye.